So I'm gonna train back today. Uh, usually when I was uh, prioritizing my uh, back, I did it uh, two times a week. One session was for back thickness and one session was when I was training for back width. But uh, I will do, I will train today for both, for back thickness and back width. So since uh, back is my stronger body part now, I do it once a week and uh, I just pr prioritize my arms biceps and triceps now. Uh, Tanya, what are you working out today? It's the same as the back. Back also, cool. So maybe we can do some exercises uh, together. Sounds good. Perfect. Okay, so for the first exercise, I will start with Tiva rows to work my lats, middle traps and row widths. This is a good exercise for back thickness to really get that 3D look on your back from the behind. And uh, I will warm up with a few sets and then I will do probably three working sets on this exercise. Let's go. set here on the last set. I will use a weightlifting belt because the set will be longer and I feel usually if I do heavy on this exercise or if I do more volume I feel slightly tightness in my lower back so to avoid that I will use a weightlifting belt and do the last set here. That felt great. The next exercise will be the lat pull down, and I will use a wide grip, really wide grip. So, in this way, I will target more the upper lats. And uh, I think Tanya will join me here in this exercise. Is that true? True, true. Okay. I will do the first set. I will not do a warm up, but I will do, as I call it, a feeling set because I have changed the exercise just for a better mind muscle connection. I will use the lighter weight and I will not go to failure just to feel the exercise uh, and the muscles working. So, and then I will jump into the working heavy set. because I don't need to work much on my back weight. And the next exercise will be the seated cable row, which works on the, your back thickness, your rear delts, middle traps, rhomboids. And uh, I will do also three sets here, the close grip to target the lower, uh, lower lats. focusing to feel the muscles working and pulling the weight towards my belly button, not higher. 
and not just going through the range of motion, but retracting my shoulder blades and feeling the, as I was putting the weight, the muscle working, so that my muscle connection was my main focus. It's not that I'm, uh, I do of course go heavy from time to time, but I'm not in my 20s anymore, so I need to periodize a little bit and uh, I don't work out the heaviest I probably could every workout. So another set here, then I will move on to the next exercise. exercise will be the single arm row. If possible, I always do at least one unilateral exercise. It doesn't matter if I'm working back, biceps, legs or whatever, because it's uh, a good choice to work on your muscle imbalances. For example, if in my case, my right side, also my arm, my back is stronger than the left one. And in this way, every each side is working independently, so there is no cheating, meaning that the stronger side will have the weaker side. So I will do just one filling set, and then of course I will do two working sets here. is when people use too heavy weight and they use momentum twisting their torso and through time you can experience the lower back pain so the key point is to just use your lats to perform the movement for the last exercise i will do the straight arm lat pull down this is one of those exercises that i call the back finisher it's a really great exercise to stretch your lats and to fill it with blood and the key point when performing this exercise is as you pull the weight down, you have to keep your chest up. And I use the rope attachment because you have greater, better range of motion, meaning that you can go all the way uh, to your hips. So let's do this. So that's a wrap up of today's back workout. Uh, now I'm going to drink my post-workout shake, which consists of dextrose, uh, whey protein and creatine monohydrate. Dextrose, fast digesting carbs to replenish the glycogen stores, whey protein to start the recovery as sooner the better, and creatine monohydrate to, with muscle size and strength.
If you watch this video until the end, I really appreciate it. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. It really helps uh, the channel to grow and myself to uh, produce more content. Uh, anyway, I wish you a great day ahead and in the next video.